All of the footballers cried and thanked Lieutenant Commander Simon Coonan for sacrificing his life to save theirs, said Dr. Jisada Chokdam Rangsik, the permanent secretary for the health ministry. The boys have promised to be good persons, to honor Lieutenant Commander Saman, Jesada said, adding they wrote their condolences on a drawing of Saman and stood in silence. Saman, then a former petty officer first class, collapsed and died on July 6 during the operation, to help secure the 12 Mew Power Academy football team members, and their assistant football coach from the cave, where they had been trapped since June 23. Lieutenant Commander Saman Coonan was the only casualty in the operation. He was posthumously promoted to Lieutenant Commander by His Majesty the King on Saturday to honor his sacrifice. Dr. Jesada said the doctors allowed the boys' families to inform them about Saman's death on Saturday after their physical and mental health had largely improved to a satisfactory level. The last boys and the assistant coach were evacuated from the cave on July 10, capping off a daring three-day operation. They were placed under medical care, including health checkups, at Chiang Rai Pachanakro Hospital. They were found to be weak and suffering from exhaustion after 10 days inside the cave without food before being discovered. Dr. Jesada said the boys were under the close watch of psychiatrists and psychologists when informed of the news about Saman. Major General Drive Watichayasara, a senior doctor of the 3rd Army Region, told the boys on behalf of the military that their rescue effort had been an honor and a mission and brought with it prestige. The permanent secretary revealed that the first four boys, to be rescued and admitted to hospital on July 8 had returned to generally normal health and had no signs of flu or other contagious diseases. Two of them diagnosed with lung infections had improved under a week-long regime of antibiotics. The general health of the second group of four were admitted to hospital on July 9 was similar to the first group. The last group of five footballers was also generally healthy and had no contagious diseases. Some who had ringing in their ears were improving. Earlier reports revealed that the boys are scheduled to be discharged from the hospital on Thursday, 